Hello everybody, welcome back. It's time. It's time for more Diablo 1 level 1 hell run. It's been a hot minute since I played last, so I'm just double checking all my stuff. Okay. Okay, so ruby mail down there. Reading glasses down here. Was there anything in the shop that I wanted? Whoa, I don't think there was. Armor of the stars, bow of heavens. Yeah, no, not really. King's Valor is just too good. I think we were on floor 10, yeah. Yeah, if I remember right, we were just hitting floor 10. Yeah, because we just did the uh, Black Mushroom quest. That's what happened. I remember now. Yeah, sorry, I like took all my finals last week and in the process didn't uh, have much chance to record. <laughs> Fancy that. Uh, plus I was home for weekend and stuff, but I'm back now and everything's going great. Yep, so we just pass by that. And work our way down to something there. Oh, just a non-magical bow. And then we work our way down to floor 10. What could possibly go wrong? So glad I have Stone Curse. Well, first things first, Pit Beast. It's a great start. More of them. Awesome. Now these things aren't too annoying. They just happen to be really strong and that potion didn't work so well. They're just annoying because they have, um, they have both flanking AI and a range attack to use, so they just end up being really dodgy. And I think it's kind of important that I have my full heals on my emergency button on my belt because... Yeah, and I went to drink a minor heal that one time, and then it healed me for not enough to survive a hit. It's not very helpful, is it? Oh, come on. This is inconvenient. when they step forward just enough to actually hit me. Maybe I should be going up the stairs to do this? I don't know. That was unique over there. I'm not really looking forward to fighting it. Shift key, please. I know that my pinky's getting sore, but you can at least let me press the button. Okay, it sounds like I'm hitting something sometimes. Strafing around me. Awesome. Good news is you don't need line of sight to stone curse. We're drinking that. These things have 
increased range as they gain types? I didn't think they did, but maybe, maybe they do. Maybe this is... Maybe they're coming around because there's obstacles in the way. Yeah, that worked about as well as expected. Maybe if I can just spam this way to actually hit something. Uh, it sounds like it's probably moving. There we are. Yeah, because I wasn't hitting with nearly as many arrows as I should have for the number I was shooting. Yeah, that's the danger when you fight a boss of Spitting Terrors. Yeah, Acid Beast boss is threatening. Stop it, would ya? That's the angle I needed. Perfect. They can't, I found the angle where they can't hit me, but I can hit them. Because the game auto-aim doesn't like this angle. Aha! I've done it. I need you to find it again. There it is. Okay. Is there a way I can hit that guy back there? I can. I don't know if that could have gone more perfect. Yeah, that was like pretty perfect for what that was. And I still have another 5 million experience to the next level, so that's not going to happen anytime soon. Level 31, everyone. Well, uh, we have Lava Beasts as well as Poison Spitters. So this is going to be fun. Can't you tell the excitement in my voice? How fun this is going to be? Are you ready for fun? I'm not ready for fun. Fun better be ready for me. If this goes too bad against the bloodstones here, I might actually uh, bring up that fire resist armor. Because that stuff is helpful. That stuff is very helpful. It was a unique pack, but it was really just the first monster spawn of the of the dungeon level. And I've already used up almost all my potions. It's going great, everyone. That, that was my phone, don't worry. Probably some email or something. The screen didn't light up. Got enough time for one shot. Except not even one shot sometimes. Die, please. Thank you. Yep, and that's the end of the potions. That's the end of the potions, unfortunately. Who's next? Oh, yeah. That is the one weakness of poison spitters compared to other monsters, is that they can't open doors. Uh, but the lava demons can, so... Someone die, please. Someone that's not me, preferably. Since 
weapons are incredibly dangerous. Oh boy. Hey, scroll the apocalypse. Nice. Let's get back to town. What scrolls do I even have? <coughs> Okay. Hello, my friend. Stay a while and listen. Oh, oh yeah, Hello, I did have a friend. shield to identify. Stay a while and listen. Pearl shields. Not really much use for that. Well, what can I do for you? No new items. So heal me. What ails you, my friend? Ah, uh, that looks like a good number of good number of potions. Yeah, it's 51 fire res. Boost me up to 70. And I'm just missing... Really just the minus 3 damage, which doesn't mean much anymore. And then the 10 vitality, which is like 15 hit points. Yeah. Kinda sucks, but not, not the end of the world. Oh shoot, I should repair my stuff. I just noticed that my bow took 20 damage from all that. What can I do for you? Uh, yeah, just repair everything. I can drop the gold pile. And back in we go. <laughs> uh, all this money is just going to be dumped on potions, isn't it? Oh boy. Oh, ow. That still hurt a lot. You know their melee attack doesn't count as fire. Um, and their ranged attack, I think, counts as a mix of fire and physical. I don't know how it works exactly. All I know is that still hurt a dang lot. And I'm sick and tired of you. That's just easier than trying to manually reslot into a belt. Just being able to kind of throw it down and pick it back up again. Oh, great, dead end. Well, I know where the next stairs are, at least. And yeah, I'm pretty sure it's floor 11 then that has the Anvil of Fury on it, which is actually pretty decent for a rogue now that I think about it because it's just the way that it forces the dungeon to be made. Wait, never mind, it is level 10. Um, excuse me? I wasn't shooting? Why was I not shooting? Yeah, apparently I wasn't holding shift when I was. Freaking finicky triggers. Yeah, it's decent for a rogue because I can just kind of shoot like this. doesn't really matter because it makes this whole middle section into a wide open section full of like, like with like an island in the middle of lava granted it makes it good for the goat demons who just stand there and spam arrows at you but it's good for me because can just uh, spam from here. These guys hurt a ton though. I'm not even hitting. Thank you, auto aim. Auto aim, you're fantastic. And by that I mean you suck.
No. Get out of there. Freaking acid beasts. I guess the actual steel lords, but hey. Okay. Well, let's get through this one way or another. What's with this auto aim, and why is it so awful right now? All these angles, the worst things possible. Oh, hit by three arrows at the same time. Great! I'm hitting something. Apparently it's a lava demon. Apparently there's a lava demon that way. Um, hopefully these things die quickly. And it sounded like a death there. Riveting gameplay, I know. This is what you have to do. When you have the angles on your side, you, you need to abuse them. Judge by the sounds everything else makes to see if you hit. Guy's trying to flank me. And he actually found a way to do it. And I'm probably shooting like across the entire map right now. hitting something. I'm actually dealing damage to it, though. I was just claiming that I hit it. That's what I want to know. Because I'm going to keep doing this as long as I'm hitting stuff. to get to the closest possible spot to me, which is why everyone likes that square. That was three kills. I think I'm being hit by things that don't exist right now. I'm hearing things, not seeing them. Okay. And that's what I was worried about. Yeah. Vision lines in this were weird. Apparently the accuracy lines are even stranger, too, because well, this makes any sense. Obsidian Lords, hi, hello, how are you? Um, these are the first triple immunes in the game, that I recall, at least. Yep, can't be hurt by... Fire, lightning, or magical damage, and apparently my shift key doesn't want to work. much abuse, I guess. Oh, all these small angles are 
actually kind of throwing me off. Not two at a time, not gonna happen. Okay then. Well, we cleared off this island, but we're almost. Kind of cleared off this island, but we're almost dead and we're out of potions, so. Yeah. Fun stuff. I'm gonna trap myself. Trap myself. <laughs> 11 hit points left. Thank you, Arcane's Valor. Okay, yeah, so this Ruby Mail isn't very effective against the um, Lava Lords. Wow, what can I do for you? That said, it should still be effective. Wow, what can I do for you? Against deeper things. That use actual fire magic, and I know for a fact that they are what going to you, exist. At the very least on floor 16, if not earlier. Oh, uh, that's not enough potions. Not enough potions for me. What ails you, my friend? Uh, let's just buy all the potions, because apparently. We're not allowed to have decent item drops in this game. So yeah, why not? Gosh dang it, I have... Uh, run out of town portal scrolls now. <laughs> it's fun. And I remembered he was there. Could have ended badly. Yeah, normal large X, normal large X. It's like not even a full health potion worth of money. I suppose if I'm coming back anyway, I should probably pick it up just for the heck of it, but. Yeah, that is not really that valuable to me. Stop freaking flanking me! They're slow, stupid walk. Yeah, these guys are really threatening in melee, if you hadn't noticed. Because they walk up, and then they get two attacks per swing instead of one. Uh, the only thing worse are Stormlords, which do the same thing, but I think also have even faster attacks. E either it's faster, or it's just stronger. I forget. It's one of the two. Either way. I, they're awful, and I hate them. Whereas it's kind of hard to dodge these lava things, it's actually doable. I was trying to dodge lightning bolts? Yeah, that's really hard. So you take practically guaranteed damage while they approach, and then once they finally close the distance, uh, they just maul your face off and you're dead. Ooh, magical small shield. Hopefully it's reading glasses, because otherwise I'm not using it. Because I can't use a shield with a bow. See that. Die, please. Get hit by something, please. Thank you. Um, do I need to start more dex dumping? I might. Nope. Nope. This ain't good. Well, there's a straight line that they have to cross they want to approach. So I can abuse that. I can abuse that line of that soul line of approach. And make it so I get one shot by a ch okay, sure. No. No, don't. Okay then, 
This is the way you want to play, isn't it? Well, you will die, please. Thank you. The charge is like double damage or something, because like the impact of the hit counts as a hit, and then it's almost like they do an, an additional attack at the same time, which counts as another hit. Obsidian Lord, die, please. Thank you. Wonderful. Now what do we got? How many more? This guy, maybe one or two more. Ugh, acid Beast, the excellent trigger with an arrow. I'm triggering a lot of crap. Okay, sure. Sure, game. Didn't want to do this. Didn't want to do this at all. Now I'm here. Where'd that acid beast go? There you are. Perfect. I love it when you stand at the edge of range and just stand in place. That means I can actually hit you. This lightning resist is annoying. Oh. Uh, no. How about you don't approach me from behind like that? Oh, only 3 million experience left. Who's there? How were you not aggroed by anything that happened? I have no I room. need to get this to Griswold. But I have no room. I need to get this to Griswold. I need to get this to Griswold. I hate the reorientation of everything. Gong. Okay, now that we have the anvil, um, it's kind of safe to go back. But also, uh, who goes back just because they have an item that they don't actually need. Uh, let's keep exploring until we run out of potions or need to repair. Pro tip, the potions are going to come first. Actually guaranteed at this point. Oh wow, didn't realize I killed these. Wait, never mind, because that's where the stairs are. Obviously, I just went in a big circle around this. Huh. I always thought that this section was bigger and closer to the middle. I guess not. You know, part of me kind of wants to leave these barrels up just so I can use them as an obstacle, but then I realized, hey, wait, the shape of the barrel layout is just stupid. It's not going to help me get anything. Um, that's a lot of acid. If I didn't know better, I'd think that there was a unique over there. But I already killed the unique here. Wait a second. Pit Beast. Wasn't I facing Poison Spitter earlier? Did I mean that there were two different classifications of Poison Spitter on this one floor? That's annoying. Which means this could be a second unique group. Um, something die, please? Get hit? Apparently not. Where are these things shooting from, anyway? I mean, I seem to have found a way to hit something. annoying right now, because they're wedged up at this way. Yeah, poison spitters. And pit beasts, apparently. They resist lightning. They 
immune to magic damage because all those things that cause magic damage in this game. Yeah, sometimes. Oh, he was just running back and forth. That's what was happening. Off screen, unbeknownst to me, he was just running back and forth. And that is something that holding shift actually isn't very good at tracking. An enemy just decides to run back and forth, freaking back and forth. It becomes really hard to actually hit them. Because if you're holding shift, you're just firing in one place, whereas if you're not, you're firing back and forth between the two squares they're standing on. And only the rogue really shoots fast enough for that to be a viable method of hitting anything. Okay, now. Uh, yeah, no. No, nope, nope, we're not doing this. We're doing this my way, on my terms. This thing's trying to loop around, isn't it? Can it do that? It can. It was changing its mind and got stuck in that little crevice. Okay, cool. Well, that's two beasts down for the price of one potion. Not terrible. Well, here's a lot more. A lot. Oh, that's a lot more. Yeah. I only have a thin walkway for them to cross through. It's all about finding whatever bits of terrain you can abuse. And thoroughly abusing them. Gold, gold, gold. At least they're dropping gold. And if anything, I'd actually rather they drop gold than an item. Because on the difficulty I'm on, gold drops are worth far more than item drops. Unless the item's magical and of a good quality. Oh, there's a unique. Yep, that's the unique Obsidian Lord that always is here. No matter what, part of me is half wondering whether the unique Obsidian Lord is hard-coded to be on level 10. Always. Because, except for in multiplayer matches, I every single player ever, no matter the difficulty run, no matter the character type, no matter if I get Griswold's Fury or not... Anvil of Fury, Griswold's Edge, you know what I mean. No matter if I get Griswold's Edge or not, I always have... Um, what's his face? The Unique Obsidian Lord. I did not position myself to appropriately take advantage of that, and now I'm dead. Yeah. I was one square above, and so a lot of my shots weren't lining up properly, and so I died. Or didn't die. I had to use like six freaking potions. These guys are really, really freaking strong. Yeah, let's try that again. And this time, not instantly die. How about that? Unique thought. Honestly, odds are if I just shoot this direction, I will hit something. Uh, yeah, their charge makes it impossible for me to actually hit them. Hey, more gold. Gold that I can't see because thank you, caves.
That's a lot of hits to kill one thing. And I'm being flanked at the same time. This is stupid. Well, it's enough for one cast. And that's not enough for a cast. Um, this is enough for a town portal. I think I know what I need to do, and I don't like it. Um, yeah. I don't like this, but it's what I have to do. Give me full mana potions. <laughs> and just load up and stone curse. I sense a soul in search of answers. That's what I gotta do. Any other books I might want? Fireball, Angel's Staff, no. I don't care about any of that. Take Mana Shield, take Fireball, take Guardian. While I'm here, might as well buy some Town Portals. There we are. Looks good. I can't cast that here. I understand that. You're so sassy. Well, Griswold, give me the freaking sword. Oh, I can hardly believe it. This is the Anvil of Fury. Good work, my friend. Now We'll show those bastards that there are no weapons in hell more deadly than those made by men! Take this, and may light protect you! Griswold's Edge. Hello, my friend! Stay a while and listen! And a shield of power. So as you can see, this is a really good sword. Uh, 25% chance to hit, which is great. Fast attack, which is fantastic. Knockback, which is actually insanely good most times not all times it's annoying when you're chasing down succubi fire damage which is helpful um plus mana which is all right minus hit points which kind of sucks but the only bad thing about the sword is the minus hit points and the fact that it's not like it doesn't have like massive damage well what can i do for you in terms of base damage but the faster attack and fire attack and extra chance to hit by a decent amount basically means that you kind of stand what there, you, swing friend? it around, and everything dies. Uh, we are going to fill our inventory to the brim, like so, repair our items, drop the gold, and then... Whoa, Step through what the can portal. I do for you? There's a lot of damage to that. A lot of damage to that bow. Come over by the portal and drop our scrolls. Oh, that's flame wave. That's a potion. There we go. This almost looks like a Diablo 2 belt. <laughs> okay. We stretch our fingers. And we get ready for the nightmare to begin. Oh wow. He just stood still. I'll take it. Okay, so there's gonna be like eight at least obsidian lords, I think I saw. Eight obsidian lords. Probably one or two poison spitters. Die already. Oh, that didn't look right. <laughs> so glad for Stone Curse. And with that, Stone Curse is probably like the most powerful spell in the game. 
freaking overpowered in every sense of the word. The only thing is that it doesn't deal damage. Blackstorm, yep. Some magical immunities. And some means all. In this case. I cast Stone Curse on you. Apparently, mid charge means I can't be affected by Stone Curse. Because I'm a jerk. Yeah, yeah, it's not worth my time not cursing them. Um, hi. Um, why was it that that was the one that I stoned instead of, I don't know, the one right in front of me? Stone these guys on the bridge, that would be great. Then I at least block the progress of their friends. But hey, if I can just lure them out one at a time, that'll work too. Nope. And this is gonna take a while. Get this guy off my back. Oh, if he doesn't want to move, then good for me. Now where would I put this? I'll take it. And I have a feeling this cloak is not going to be that useful. Just a hunch. That's the item that rolled. What I get. And you're thinking, oh, reload, you'll get a better item. It's not the way the game works. The game re, re rolls everything from the moment you hit new game. That's how it works, and you gotta live with it. Nope. I have no room. I have a feeling this full plate mail is going to be worth a lot, lot more than this stupid cloak. Look at that, it's glorious. I'll come back for the cloak uh, once I use two potions, which shouldn't take too long. All things considered. Especially when I'm... There we go. Is this why I'm not wasting potions? Even if I kind of did, because I could have just used Stone Curse from the beginning. I knew you were there. Oh, three of them. Okay. Didn't know three of them were there. You know, that's a good place for them to get stuck in their little patrol AI back and forth, trying to get around things, because it's the same shooting angle for me either way. Scroll of phasing. Okay. You know what, I'm curious. Plate of Harmony, that's gonna be worth good money. Glorious Cloak, that's not. Yeah, that's really dumb. It's like, oh, this random beast, this random poison spitter, drops an item that's gonna be worth like 
ten if not a hundred times as much as the actual unique boss. Thanks, game. That's the way randomized drops work. Gotta love it. I... Where's my voice? Ugh, doing stupid stuff like that. I mean, the second time was on purpose. First time was an accident, and I don't know why it cracked, but it did. What terrain is this thing stuck on? Oh, okay. Sure. Darn it, not magical. Still be worth money, though. Probably come back and pick it up. With about a thousand. That's like six potions. It's the same amount of inventory space it takes up. Okay, Falchion. Falchion. However you pronounce that word, it's a word. It's a sword. Okay, I think this corner is pretty clear. Yep, looks like a clear corner to me. I've exposed every inch of it. Hey, scroll of town portal. Nice. Now where would I put this? Phasing. Your useless spell. It's like, okay, it's a panic button spell. It teleports you in a random direction. Some speedruns use it with save reload to try and teleport through certain walls sometimes. Um, the problem with that is that it's horribly inconsistent. Teleport teleports you in the direction you're pointing to the square you're pointing at if you can point at a specific square. Phasing just teleports you a random distance in a random direction. Not very good. It's not actually very good. But I think that's the entire dungeon floor cleared. And it only took us like 50 minutes. Down to level 11 we go.